Hi Taurus and welcome to your myth month low forecast for November 2016 with me and this is Heart Divine. So um, for this myth month, I am changing things up a bit by adding in oracle cards, different set of oracle cards and along with tarot, tarot cards. Um, since the full moon in Taurus is coming up, I did add um, uh, a new deck for Taurus to get more understanding and information to the situation so with this we would know what to expect how to handle things and uh, what you should know to your love life and relationship situation so the deck that I'm using is the new deck that I'm using is from Chrysalis Tarot this is quite a different um i had this deck for years now but i i've never used it because it's just so hard to interpret them because you just cannot see them as a normal or the traditional chart um, meanings that sort of thing uh, but i do feel that they are quite accurate so i'm using them today for the taurus reading so um yeah um for taurus um when i was shuffling the card this card pop up this is the queen of cups uh queen of mirrors and it's the queen of cups and this really tells me about how much all-knowing you are right now i would say that a lot of taurus are becoming highly intuitive if not they are opening up their psychic abilities for some of you guys um you might be encountering one big trouble or one big challenge in terms of your love life and relationships but for some reason it actually made you closer to your divine purpose in life so there are things that you are knowing there are things that is being shown to you like you will find yourself suddenly that you know the answer on a certain thing or you know what to do about a certain factor in your life that sort of thing you are becoming very very much highly intuitive right now though for some of you guys i kind of feel that at one point there is a sense of being tired about something yeah you're so tired about something yes you know a lot of things but knowing a lot of things and making actions and decisions based on the things that you know is quite a different story and taurus you don't usually do something about it even though you know you are not the type to risk anything especially when it's baseless that sort of thing so um yeah I kind of feel that a lot of Taurus are in a situation right now wherein they are feeling stuck over something. Some of you be might become really and overly emotional over something in a situation about their relationship, whether you are single or in a relationship. So, um, yeah. Um, the last card that I have for you on the Chrysalis Tarot is the Moon card yeah and after that we do have the sun and this is a wonderful aspect because um it's like a coming together of something or solving a missing piece of something so i kind of feel that for some of you guys there is something that you are desperately wanting to know probably before there was something that you wanted to find out but you were unable to 
have answers to it but this is the month or this is the time that you are getting some form of answers on a certain situation that you are contemplating about something within this month or this mid-month is going to make you really stronger really really stronger And it forms a new beginning for you. But I kind of feel that, you know, it's not going to be easy. There are good and bad things that you need to overcome. You will overcome it though. But most of the time, it's the journey that makes things difficult than the goal itself, you know, than the outcome. So, um, yeah. I guess that that is something that you need to keep in mind on. So um yeah, um for your first card you have the Romans cards. And this card usually speaks for itself. It's all about love. Um but in this reading this makes me feel that there is a great focus happening in your love life situation we do have the hangman as well and this hangman is actually a celtic owl and as you all know owl owls are all knowing you know that is why you know, when you try to search or study um, symbolisms and all that, it always tells you about owls being very spiritual, that sort of thing. This makes me feel that you are getting some form of insights in terms of your love life. And just so you know, in Chrysalis Tyrant, this actually depicts a rebirth. Rebirth. And usually we see the rebirth on the death card, but here the hangman is a rebirth card. So this actually tells me that, you know, you are having some form of awakening in terms of your love life situation. You probably might be finding out something in terms of your love life. It could be you're receiving some form of message or maybe you're wanting to... Um, connect with someone that actually gives some form of change in your love life and relationship situation that sort of thing i just kind of feel that there is a need for you to take a closer look with your inner guidance you know what what your what your intuition is telling you because I kind of feel that you are being guided to do something in terms of your love life and relationships so if you're guided to suddenly leave the house you know even though that you don't have any destination at all this is about you um, following that guidance maybe the angels are guiding you towards making some form of decision and action in terms of your love life and relationships. This is also about um, telling you not, not to rush things and being patient because you are going to receive your goal. It's just that it's not going to happen anytime soon. There is a need for you to take certain steps little by little for you to achieve your goal. And I kind of feel that for those who are singles, those who are not attached at all, this is about you manifesting and really doing some form of manifestation um, things to attract the love of your life to come into your life. If you are guided to talk to someone, communicate with someone, I kind of feel that you should follow that in um, that message or nudge that you are experiencing. Either way, you are seeing things differently in terms of your love life and relationships. 
you're getting insights you're getting um, messages like you don't know how you know about it but you just know it's like when you question yourself whether you are going to be with someone or not uh, you might just come to a point wherein you suddenly feel that I kind of feel that I'm going to get a boyfriend or girlfriend anytime soon. You don't know, you're not dating, but you just know. And it's more of something like that, you know, some form of recognition or prediction kind of uh, feeling. Some form of divine guidance is being sent your way is what I'm getting. The next card that we have here is yoga. This is about you needing to meditate and balance things because for some of you guys i kind of feel that you know probably you are being overwhelmed by the energies that is surrounding you that is probably the full moon and the new moon in scorpio is um the scorpio energy is overwhelming you that sort of thing don't get me wrong i do feel that you are encountering some form of spiritual guidance but all at the same time it's making you lose your cool that sort of scenario wherein you don't know you're not acting like yourself that sort of i, I, I guess that is basically what i'm getting here and i kind of feel that for you to move forward in your situation there is a need for you to um live in the present moment rather than thinking too much on the past thinking too much in the future there is a need for you to be on a steady pace we do have the six of swords and the four of stones here so it's all this is all about moving forward on something but you might feel stuck the four of stones is the four of pentacles and this is about this card is about material things though the way that i would interpret this and how i'm picking things this up is that you should not focus on one thing you might be focusing on something that is not really important but you think it is important you know it's like you're not seeing the bigger picture about something you're not seeing the bigger picture about something and that is preventing you and moving forward that is preventing you in having the relationship that you desire which is why you are being guided to you know meditate and do yoga um keep your energies in check making sure that you're grounded and things like that this could also mean that maybe you're too too much holding tightly to your comfort zone because from what i'm getting here it's just it's like you're being guided to do something out of your comfort zone but most of you don't want to you're it's like it's not that you don't want to but you you just can't you know you want to but you can't so i kind of feel that for most of you something is preventing you in moving forward even if you already know that there is something that you have to do for you to move forward but i kind of feel that you need to trust your instincts if there is something that you need to do you have to do it that sort of thing so which leads us to the next card that we have which is steady progress the message that we have here is that we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities we can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts feelings actions of love and we have the queen of um, spirals which is the queen of wands and the seven of cups so clearly this is telling us that you were very um
you're a very nurturing person, whether you're a man or a woman. You have your own set of values. You know what you want. You know what you, what should be done and what should not be done. It's like you are you stick to what you say you, you'll do that sort of scenario so it's not easy for you to suddenly change things up it's not easy for you to be flexible on a lot of things but what this card is actually telling us is that if you cannot do something big try to do things one step at a time it tells us here that this is more of a confirmation that you are at the right place at the right time and and you are on the right path but i kind of feel that you are at the point of being in a on a crossroads wherein there is a need for you to take a step forward and if you're not going to take a step forward, you'll be forever in that cycle, whatever that is, whatever situation that you are in. So, for example, you are in a, in, in a single, uh, si except for example, you're single. You know that you have to do something to achieve your goal. It's not like Prince Charming suddenly going to doorbell you without doing anything that sort of scenario um, if you're not doing anything you won't be able to change your situation it's going to be that same old same old thing over and over again that's basically what it's telling us and from what we're seeing here it's the fact that everything is all in the same routine over and over again, which actually confuses you. And, you know, I kind of feel that for most of you, you're wanting some change in your life. You do want things to change. You know that you deserve something much better than how it was, how it is right now in your life. For some of you guys, this is really more of a confirmation that everything is all doing fine. You just need to um, you just need to set your priorities straight in terms of your love life. You know, are you focusing more on career or love? Make sure that you are giving time to your love life as well, and not just on career. For some of you, it's just like just like that, but. I'm not sure. I kind of feel that this is really more. This reading is really more leaning towards those who are single, Taurus, and for those who have some form of um, difficulties in their relationships, those kinds of complicated setups that there that is needing some form of change because there is a need for you to take little steps, one step at a time. To manifest what you truly want and what you truly desire. The next card that we have is Vanessa. And the message that we have here is to make your decision. Ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? And which way takes me away from it? So this card alone already tells us that how much decisions plays a big role into your situation. For a lot of you, you are feeling undecided over something in a relationship setup, whether you're single or in a relationship. Like, you know you have to do something, but you don't know what to do or which way to go. And this is telling us that sometimes the easiest thing to do is what will take you away from your divine purpose, you know. Short-term happiness is not really a good thing because it will just lead you to pattern you know it's like when you're single and you wanted to find someone 
to be with. It's easy to just um, watch TV, just be at home and eat popcorns, and just accept that you're going to be single for life. It's the easiest thing to do, to do nothing at all because it's outside of your comfort zone. But this is really telling us that, you know, if you really want for things to change, you need to take a first step to what you want. Those options that you are receiving right now, that didn't become available to you because you have thought about it um, accidentally. These options that are being sent your way, it is there for a reason. It's there for you to choose what kind of life you want to live in. That sort of thing. We do have the Seven of Stones, which is the Seven of Pentacles, and which is also known as the Card of Regrets, and Three of Swords. So, okay. This is more of probably you refusing to make decisions. You don't want to make a decision at all. You don't want to change things. Or at the very least, you want to receive and not make an effort over something. For some of you guys, you are contemplating if you need to break up with someone or not. But you're so used to the, to the attachment to the point where in there is a part of you that don't want to do the breaking up situation you'd rather that they break up with you rather than doing the breaking up yourself you also fear that if you do something and you get hurt it's going to be a difficult thing to experience but for me, that goes with everyone else as well. This is really basically telling you that you need to choose one scenario that makes you feel good. You know, a decision wherein you'll feel good in, and you'll feel happy about. This, a decision wherein it's going to be healing for you. That sort of thing. Whatever you are going through right now, remember that that is a path that you have chose, chosen. That is something that you need to be clear at this point in time. It didn't happen because it was faith. It happened because you chose it to happen, regardless of your reasonings, regardless of uh, your explanations. Which is why in this reading, it's being shown to us that you have a chance to change it. You have a chance to turn it around in your favor. Only if you're going to act upon it. That sort of thing. The next card that we have is the Cupid card. And the message here is that we send great waves of love into your heart and mind. Awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decisions to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So this is more of an internal kind of um, situation. So probably this reading is really more of an internal struggle to you. Uh, things that you need to overcome internally instead of fixing the situation externally because sometimes it is what you need for you to do something externally into a relationship situation that you are having right now it shows us here that there is going to be a form of new beginning coming in your life as long as you take that necessary step you do have the ace of pentacles and the five of scrolls which is the five of swords there is going to be a new beginning for you and there is going to be some form of uh, victorious aspect as well. The Five of um, Swords is always about... Um, I'm not going to say regret, but sacrifice 
is the term. Sacrifice and victory goes hand in hand together. So it's kind of making me feel here that yes, you are going to be having that new beginning. It's just that it would take some form of action on your part. It could be that you need to let go of something for you to achieve something. It could be that you need to choose one person. So for those who are in a third party position, this could be you um, refusing to make a decision over something and you need to choose one person and one person alone or a path that you need to choose. It's just that it's not going to be easy, especially if you are in a negative pattern kind of relationship. You know, It's easy to be in that kind of cycle because you are going to be connecting with that person that you truly love but maybe this is telling us here that you need to step back and let go and let them come forward to you without um being in that kind of cycle so it's going to be difficult because it's telling us here that in a way you had you had enough of whatever you're going through there is something that you need to to straighten up. You will be getting that. You will be achieving your goal. It's just, it's just that there is a need to make necessary steps. And sometimes it's going to be difficult. It, it's Again, sacrifice and victory is going to be the key word that I, I'm going to use there. It's like... You have tried and tried the same things over and over again, and it's not working. So this is a time for you to change things up and do something else, which may lead to a new beginning for you. For some of you guys, I kind of feel that this is more about you needing to have in check what truly matters to you do you want to be in this relationship or do you want someone new in to come into your life and if you're single is it really okay to to do the same things over and over again and not do something about it i'm really feeling that there is a need for you to let go of the things that doesn't serve you anymore And close a chapter of your life on that scenario of the past you should not be giving a reason to why you are not doing something that sort of thing so stop giving a reason that you you have been hurt before so it's hard for you to love again it's hard for you to do this and that it's not reason enough why you're acting the way that you are acting so you need to let go of those things and open up a new chapter of your life whether you being single um being open to love again or you being a single opening up to a new relationship or you know a relationship that you wanted to renew you know maybe you are um, having some form of struggles in your relationship with someone and this is a time where in the both of you need to heal from that and it starts with you so either way there is some form of healing and changes that is happening here and the changes you that you will experience are more of internal situations you know something that has to do with your inner self it starts with you it starts with you Taurus so yeah I actually feel that this is quite a difficult spread um, but I do hope that this become helpful for you I kind of feel that the second half of the month is going to be very important in terms of your needs and your wants from here on and towards the future the long-term future so um yeah Thank you for watching and subscribing with me and I'll see you next month guys. Bye!